I've forgotten. It's no use. Dog, it's no use. I've forgotten how to drive. It's because you walk everywhere. You need to drive constantly or else you forget. Yeah. I haven't driven since the 90s. But this town is so small. You weren't trying to drive my car, were you? No. No. Dad's truck. I got in there and the seats smelled like when Dad chopped down trees. It made me want to drive to the forest. You're mired in nostalgia. That truck doesn't even have a driver's side window. You need to sell that truck and walk to the forest. I can't bear to part with it. You're the salesman. You sell it. It's just stupid. You don't sit out with it. You don't hover over it. Watch pot never boils, etc. Don't you have anything else to do with your time? I'm still taking my walks. Last night I was even jogging and I saw some classical music from the outside. If you're jogging, why are you so fat? I like pasta. And why do you wear those pants inside and jeans outside? These are house pants. Yeah, you have to remember, other dogs don't have the same amount of good fortune you do. You're sleeping on a pillow in winter and journeying out each day under my hand. The leash's auspices. You, you, you are in the upper echelons of dog life. It's almost summertime. Let me tell you what the problem is. You're putting out the wrong type of energy. You're putting out negative energy and keeping the buyers away. Your energy is negative and it's negating the truck being sold. Oh, you mean like magic? That's right, quantum physics. If you give out negativity, negativity comes back to you. If, if you give money to a cancer charity, that's you perpetuating cancer. If you give money to a homeless charity, that's you perpetuating homelessness. Well, I just today took your three garbage bags of beer cans to the homeless man on the corner. Oh, I think we're lost again. Where do you think, dog? Where do you think? That's your quote of the day. I'm going to give you a quote every day to make you a better salesman so you can sell the truck and walk to the forest and smell the real smell of trees. Thanks, but me and the dog got lost in the park today. I'm not sure I could handle the forest. Don't be negative. Plus, uh, Henry Ford was pro-Nazi, you know. And, and and Ford only said that stuff about uh, employers' wages and customers' wages because he hated paying wages. You know, it was the same with every employer when I had jobs, back when I had jobs. Every employer I ever had, they hated bitter about payroll. That, like, that was the one thing holding them back. And, and you know, Ford... One time Ford did double his workers' his wages compared to any other auto company, but he hated unions, 
hated, 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 hated unions, thought they shouldn't exist, and he hired thugs to beat up on union people, like uh, 1937, for example, was this bloody brawl called the Battle of the Overpass. So, yeah, Ford, Ford, Ford was the last automaker to sit down with the UAW, and he almost wanted to disband the Ford Motor Company instead of sit down with the UAW, except his wife stopped him. She said, oh, think of the children, you know, and, and so he sat down with the UAW, but he was... He was pro-Nazi, though, before it became unfashionable to be pro-Nazi. <coughs> Why are you so negative? Everything out of your mouth is negative. Negative, negative, negative. Uh, I like to call it critical thinking. Henry Ford invented the car. Uh, that uh, all that anti-union stuff that Ford perpetuated, and all the other monopolists perpetuated back at the beginning, that's still with us today. That's why everybody's so anti-labor. <coughs> oh, I don't want to hear it. The past is perfect. Now get out into the street and sell the truck. And when you sell the truck, ask whoever buys it if they want to buy my car. Because I'm bedridden. 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 It's okay. We can live in here a while till Ty calms down. We can... Wash with the windshield wiper liquid. We can sleep crosswise on the seat. Yes, cuddles. Yeah. We can eat whatever we find behind the seat. Maybe. If we stay out here long enough, we'll make the truck. Too disgusting with my humanity and your canineness, and then we won't be able to sell it. Right? And then, if we don't sell it, we can sit out here sometimes. Since the seats smell like when dad chopped down trees. <laughs>